Video stores have been going out of business, just like this one did in my hometown. It's an important part of our culture that's going away, and it's also where I had my first job over 15 years ago. So when the owner had announced he was closing the store, I gave him a call. Asked him if I could follow him during the final weeks of his video store, while celebrating this culture and tape forever. How's it going, Ed? How are you, sir? My name is Ed Kaczynski. We're at Video World in Woodbury, Connecticut. I'm the owner, proud owner, for 23 years. Here in the video rental business, looking to see what we can do tonight to make people happy in their entertainment needs. Well, that was a commercial. We have the regular DVDs and we have Blu-ray DVDs. We still do have some VHS in the store that date back. Only items that are not available still on DVD. We put the boxes wherever we wish and try to confuse the customer, and, and that works. We decided to announce to the people this year that we were gonna close after 23 years in business. I was gonna do it six months ago. Uh, we were gonna try to do it in the fall, but. I decided to keep it going because Christmas is always the busy period of the year, but it just didn't make any sense you know, to keep going. Yeah. So what was your reaction when you heard the video store is closing? I was shocked. I was shocked. Very upsetting to me. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm sad. <laughs> I don't want that word to say. You don't look bad. I don't want that. And then it was like, oh, well, I can get all these cool movies. And then it was like, oh, damn it. It's going in business. That's bad. It's sort of like it's always been here. So it's sort of like being in denial and then really getting angry that it's closing. So when I saw you over here, I said, I have to say something because it's important to me to keep this kind of community around. It's not just a video store. So what are some of the perks of working at a video store? Free movies. That was, that was a great perk of working at the video store. So you get to see movies that haven't come out yet. Take home like four movies a night and <laughs> stay up all night watching movies. I get to see all my friends and everyone is so laid back. We had a couple of celebrities come in here. There was the guy from the movie, The Reef, was it? What was it? Ref. The Ref, Dennis Leary. Arthur Miller came in here. I did have the chance to meet him. I am actually excited, and somebody I was hoping to come in here was uh, Rob Zombie, actually. I've been a fan of his forever. I've met Christine Baranski. Helen Hunt picked up a copy of Twister and asked, what did you think of this movie? I remember I was putting movies back, and, uh, and Dan said, did you notice the guy that was walking around there? And I said, not really. I mean, he had cut off jeans and the tattoo and the, like, the greasy hair and stuff, and the big boots and stuff like that. And he was like, it was Daniel Day-Lewis, and just kind of took me by surprise. We first started to rent out uh, videos in the lobby of the cinema that was a uh, theater and our concession stand became our video stand and we would have people come in and they because they could just come in the lobby rent a movie and, and and leave and we sold video cassette recorders and we sold blank tape which was very expensive at the time and videos and we rented videos on a weekly basis about 82 well 83 was probably the the where the growth became phenomenal So why do you think video stores are going out of business? Uh, well, I think they're going out of business because of all the online video rentals. Probably because of other big chain video stores. The technological advances of downloading movies and everything right at your fingertips, so you don't have to go anywhere. With the economy and people aren't making the money they're used to be making, and with all the TV stations uh, putting the movies on TV and everything, uh, they're trying to knock them out. 
my husband got HBO. No, not HBO. What is it? Netflix. Netflix. Curses. You see, that's what's causing all this happening. Soon they'll be piping videos directly into your TV. And I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to be piped into my TV. I'd rather be talking to people. It's too clean and non-personal. And that bothers me. With the economy the way it is and the business shift towards a uh, lower uh, value price to a, uh, a Walmart or a Target, our sales have been increasingly going down the past three, four years. Uh, and the rental business has held somewhat steady, but sales are soft. One of the toughest things of working here was collecting the late charges from the customers. Very, very late. How are you? <laughs> not bad, not bad. You know, if somebody comes in and the movie's like a, a day or so late, you know, he could charge them, but he often doesn't charge them. And some people still gave us a hard time. We did have one customer come in and uh, she wanted to rent some movies and she was on the late list. She got very upset and she stormed out the door and before she left, uh, she said that uh, she hopes Blockbuster comes in and takes our business away. Video stores are a place where people talk about their favorite movies. This is, is it really fantastic. Good? Oh. I do love to make recommendations to people. I was just looking at Julia and Julia, um, The Hangover I want to get to. I'll try to figure out what their type of movie is. I'll ask them rather than give somebody who likes a horror film, like a romantic comedy, I wouldn't give that to them. I'd go try to find the horror film I enjoyed. So we're standing here next to the staff recommendations. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on this shelf that you put here? Oh boy. I love role models. Requiem for a Dream. Signs. Lost Highway. The Descent. That is a crazy movie. Lawrence of Arabia. The Game. Usual Suspects. Memento. Anything that would have starred Arnold Schwarzenegger. Rain Man. Office Space. Die Hard. The Notebook. American Beauty. Boogie Nights. The Star Wars Trilogy. Oh, Freddy Got Fingered. I love the movie Freddy Got Fingered with Tom Green, and it's really awful. And I think I put it on the staff recommendations, and I think that it was quickly taken off. Today's the last weekend of our video store business. It's our last day of rentals. We're packing up most of the movies and putting them in boxes, and they go to my house, and uh, I'll sell them online. The adult business was first in terms of video cassettes. Then the mainstream film started to come out. It wasn't going so well until one of the consumer electronic shows in Las Vegas took off and the mainstream television news casters followed that. And what they found at the show was the adult industry had taken a lot of space at those shows it created a stir and, and people would started to say, wow, I can see a film in the privacy of my own home and nobody has to know. That created sales for the VCRs and also videos and that helped drive the industry. We have regular customers that would come in every day for the adult book. Well, that started with a room. Room was set up right here where these lines are until the town got in on it and it became a book. Not everybody knew that we had the book. People would refer to it as the Bible. The book is, we would take the film covers off, put them through in a plastic wrap, and everyone would have a number. Because some of the titles could be very graphic, <laughs> is probably the correct word. So we just asked for the number and we would get the film for them. Most of the men were older. And a lot of them, when I was working by myself, would like, you know, ask to talk to a manager. And I think they didn't like asking a young girl for, to see the pornography. And so um, it would make some of them, you know, flustered or embarrassed. I remember this one man who apologized and said, oh, it's my wife just died. And I was like, oh, he seems sweet, but he wanted to see some porn. I, I felt dirty whenever I wanted to give it to somebody. I had to wash my hands afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you.
we're going to have a party. Or it'll be just like an open house with uh, customers coming in and we'll just get to say uh, so long, I hate goodbyes, I don't like goodbyes. Just uh, so long and we'll see you a little bit later. <laughs> in another aspect, yeah. So did you think that you were going to be around forever? Yes. <laughs> yes, At least I did. retirement. Yeah, yes I did. Uh, yes. In all honesty, I kind of, how do you say, ignored the problem for a long time. And then let it get bad. Okay, guys. Here it is. The big, okay. <laughs> Zero days. <laughs> so where do you think you're going to rent your movies? Probably do one of those mail things, but I've also heard from people that you don't get the good quality because the CDs, I mean, they don't really care when you get them back, so the quality isn't so good. I know that the library sometimes offers a, a fairly good selection of independent films, so I, I guess I could do that. I'm not sure. You haven't figured that out yet. All this is going to do is cause me to go somewhere I don't want to go, you know, and that's what it's going to do. Actor Joe Pantoliano was filming in the area that day and heard that Ed's video store was closing, so he decided to stop by. Hey, Ed! Hey, Ed. Oh, Joey. Uh, Joey Pants came. Hi, Joe Pantoliano. Uh, that, was a, that was a special treat for everyone. Actor who's been in basically everything. Sopranos, his own shows on CBS. Now I can't remember, was he Ralphie? Yeah, oh boy, okay. I guess he's actually making documentaries now. Start a website, Ask Ed. Ask Ed, right. You know, a local yeah. website so that your customers can still be in contact with you yeah. and then you can tell them what movies to watch. No, that, was, that was a real good deal. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Well, we're just about closing up the video store for the very last time. We got emptiness, and it's been the, one of the greatest days of my life in business. Uh, it's, it's been awesome. I can't believe the amount of customers that we had. Thank been, you very much, been a good Ryan. friends. Oh, the amount of friends that we got to say hi to. Really, I'm gonna miss you. We had even had drinks with a few customers who brought wine. It's just the fact that many people came by just to say goodbye. Not goodbye to a, a friendship, but goodbye to the physical store and uh, the way we interacted for all those years. It's not a sign of the end of a business. It, to me, it's uh, a part of my life, uh, a big part of my life. I never choose to let you go. I just want to make sure people know how important this kind of a place is to the rest of the community. People would either meet here and then go out, or they'd meet here, pick up a bunch of movies, some snacks, and then go back to someone else's house and hang out for a night. Going someplace and interacting with people, I find myself a lot easier, a lot better. Picking up a box and reading the back of it and, and from down there going, Ed, what do you think about this? Is this? And then he'd say, you know, no, or, 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 you know, that's a good one. When you're young, you don't get to make many choices, I think, if, when you're really little. Like, she yeah. could come and pick out what she wanted, and she could only pick three, and she had to make her choices very carefully. When you come to know films through that process, you have a deeper relationship with them. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna miss it. It's been a big part of us, so. What's your all-time favorite film? Uh, Casablanca. My favorite simply because it shows the character does the right thing, ultimately sacrifices everything to do what's best for the, the common good rather than personal.
Stick around.